Ow! Ow! I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. Welcome to Vernon's Legacy. This is a new early access indie adventure horror title. Let's take a look. How long has it been? It was the time before the war. It was a time of innocence. Before the cloud of death spread over Europe. Okay. At the time, I could not imagine that I would never see Uncle Vernon again. Fifty-six years old. To die so suddenly? I'm at a loss. And the house, it is not the same. The walls appear darker and cracked. The garden is neglected, quite different now from how I knew it. Everything is different, so very different. Okay, so they're going for an amnesia kind of feel. Which is not all that unusual at this point. People love themselves some first-person horror amnesia stuff. Why shouldn't these folks be any different? Oh, here we are. It began. Grab the letter on the table. Well, just don't yell at me. Stop. I'll, I'll do it. Jesus. On the table. How do I... Like... Do I not get to move? Or... Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. That table. Robert, it would have been my great pleasure to welcome you personally. It's been six years since your last visit to Duncan Hoff. The war has left its mark on the house. Nothing has been the same since March 8, 1920. Okay, so post uh, World War One. I'm afraid I cannot welcome you in person today, given the unfortunate circumstances of late. Please accept my sincerest condolences. At the same time, I wish to consider my duty to inform you your uncle has changed considerably in the last few months leading up to his death. He was no longer the man he once knew. The doctor determined your uncle's time of death as 1.30 a.m. March 3rd, 1920, so five days ago. The cause of death was found to be cardiac arrest. Madeline and I hereby wish to terminate our employment with your family and shall leave the house forthwith. She will likely move to Paris to be with her sister while I shall seek new pastures in Berlin. You'll find the keys to the private rooms on the kitchen table. It is time for us to leave. Our taxi is waiting for us at the gate. Your most humble servant. Al I don't know that name. Alois Strittmutter. Okay. So we got... All right, now I can move. Sup, girl? All right, I gotta find the kitchen then. You are not as sexy as your counterpart. That's cool. Alright, door is closed. This, why is it foggy inside the house? That's kind of weird. Alright, I'm in the kitchen. I see your inventory. Click on an item. Got a key. Cool. Oh, that's not it. All right. Just, just open up the drawers. Open them up. We're going to find shit. Everything opens. Everything opens, and I look for shit. That's how this works. That's the name of the game. Okay. Nothing. All right. Just open the drawers. Keep opening the drawers. Keep opening the drawers. Keep opening the drawers. Nothing so far. Hmm. What's that? Got another letter. Jesus. Okay. Dear Marie, I'm so happy to hear that you were hired at the main post office in Paris. Hundreds must have applied for the position with Monsieur Moreau. I am overjoyed. Write to me soon. Write to me soon how you like your new workplace and whether you have already found a room. If you are still looking for an abode, perhaps you can check with Monsieur Bonnet. 
He is a friend of Master Vernon. It might be Monsieur Bonnet. I don't know. I, I just assume with French, Bonnet. I don't know. Maybe Mr. Bonnet. Mr. Bonnet. I like that. He lives in the Rue de Samarard and will certainly be able to help you. I received a letter from our parents yesterday. They are already looking for helping hands for the almond crop. I would be happy to spend a few days there right now. Regrettably, I'm very busy at the moment. Robert's arriving tomorrow, etc., and so on and so forth. Whole house upside down. He even set Master Vernon's laboratory on fire, nearly reducing the house to ashes. His uncle seems thrilled that the boy dabbles in science, but where's science in that? The whole laboratory was in flames. I, I, I beg you, there are plenty of science in burning things. I am sorry, my friend, but you're wrong on that one. And Master Vernon lets him off without even a slap on the wrist just like that. My dear Marie, I end for today and send you lots of hugs. Write me soon and tell me what is happening in Paris. This is a letter written in 1914, and they sent lots of hugs. I, I just, I just, I don't agree. I doubt very much that the writer sent lots of hugs in 1914. Your loving sister, Madeline P.S. Alloy. There's that name again. Forgot to bring stamps from Mets. I even wrote him a special reminder. Sometimes I think he forgets to buy things for me on purpose, yet he never seems to forget his pipe tobacco. Hence, this letter will reach you with some delay. Okay? So we're just learning about the people. Which I'm good with. I like that kind of thing. I think we all do. Well, some of us do. Why? Come on. Why? Look at that footlocker. That is screaming for me to open it, and there is nothing, no option for me to open that footlocker. That's a damn shame. So I'm in the kitchen. All right, what do I got here? I got a key, so that must, maybe that's the key to open. Oh, what's this? A fuse is missing. Ah, that's some Resident Evil shit right there. Cool, all right. Broken key on the lock. So I gotta find something to get the key out of the lock on that one. That's interesting. Gotta find a fuse. Alright. That door is alright, click. And then I go for this door. Does that work? Not working? Come on. Alright, let's try it again. I'm just doing it wrong. Oh, right mouse button. Got it. Oh, well. Oh, right mouse button to put it back in your inventory. God damn it. Okay. All right, so that's not the key for that door. Does this door need a key? Hmm. Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Jumping. For some reason. Okay. So those doors ain't opening. Not now, not later. Well, probably later. Let's face facts. It's probably opening later. Well, then let's try one of these other doors. Broke a key in the lock. That one isn't going to do it. Let's try you. Yes, that seemed to do the trick. Okay, nothing in there. Another letter. Lovely. Dear Marie, I've not left the house in probably a year. <laughs> Even Alloy and Master Vernon visit the city only rarely. It's simply too dangerous. Thank God we have enough supplies in the house and the vegetable patch in the garden. When I lie in bed at night, I can hear the thunder of cannons in the distance. The fighting and death is happening right on our doorstep. I get goosebumps when I think about it. Master Vernon is trying his best to ease the workload for Alloy and me. Alois. I, I don't know what that name is. For which I am most grateful to him. I will not abandon Master Vernon, however difficult the present situation may be. Warm hugs, Madeline. Okay. Okay. Listen. All right, there's a story. Um... Of J.K. Rowling, of course, the famous author of uh, Harry Potter, talking to her American editor. And he kept saying, well, don't you think at the end of the chapter here that the kids would hug? You know, he kept pushing for hugs uh, because that's an American thing to do. 
And uh, J.K. Rowling kept insisting, no, they won't hug, they're British. And that was recently. Uh, and this is post-World War I, I think, France? I just don't see warm hugs. I've read some older correspondence, and warm hugs is almost never a thing they say. So that one has taken me right out of it. Although this is cool. Photographs are neat. It seems fairly accurate. But Jesus, man. Warm hugs, really? Dear Marie, it is hard to believe they closed the post office in Paris, but it's probably for the better. And once the dust settles, I'm confident you can start working there again. I'm quite sure that the situation will calm down soon. Everyone here says so. Right now, I'm just happy to know that you're safe in Marseille. Or Marseille, I forget. Have you paid a visit to our parents on the weekend? Sadly, I will not be able to visit mother and father in November as planned. As you know, the border crossings are temporarily closed. I will just wait a few weeks before I take a few days off. Surely everything will go back to normal and the borders will be reopened soon. I look forward to seeing you again. Warm hugs. There it fucking is again. Madeline. P.S. Alloys failed to buy stamps again, but this time he was not at fault. The road to Metz is only open for military transport at this time. Besides, today is his birthday. I should try to say something nice to him instead, but I probably won't because Alloys is a bastard. No one likes him, and no one ever will. Hugs and kisses and wishful thinking and XO, XO, XO. Madeline. Okay, picking up boxes, so there's that. Uh oh. Is it hiding shit? Are they hiding things? Come on. No? Nothing? I'm just picking up the boxes for no reason. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But I can't pick up these boxes, obviously. <sighs> or maybe not so obviously. They were the exact same kind of boxes. Ooh, a screwdriver. Okay, so I can I bet I can use the screwdriver to push the key through the keyhole back there. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Let's hop over those boxes, because why not? Broken key in here. Yep. There we go. Just 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 jimmy it through. That is a narrow screw to oh 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 I just I just pulled the whole thing apart. Interesting. Okay. I didn't just push the key through the keyhole. Pulled it all the way apart. All right, I haven't opened a single thing that had anything inside of it except for that one key. Oh, there we go. Thank you for proving me wrong. Dear Carl, I'm writing you today because I could use a handyman around the house. As you know, I work at the manor of Master Vernon. Master Vernon? We haven't heard of him at all in this whole game. The house is simply too large for me to do all the work myself, and some things are best left to an expert. We have a boiler in the basement, a modern device used for water heating and steam generation. Thank you. We've got a, what a boiler is. Suspect it's leaking. Meet in Mets next Friday and discuss the detail. Jesus Christ. There isn't, there hasn't been a single, sp this is supposed to be a spooky game. And all I'm learning, I've got these letters. And even if something jumps out at me at this point, I, the, all I'm getting is letters like, this is, this is what we're doing today. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dear Carl, you did the right thing by moving to the capital, be with your family. I do not know which is worse, the war or Master Vernon's behavior. A lot of fighting happening in our vicinity. He's always digging the old vaults, vaults for potsherds or God knows what. I'm going to learn that, look that, potsherds. I don't know what that is. There are far graver issues to worry about if you ask me. I do not even know I'm writing you. <laughs> which is not normally something you send... In a letter. If you actually sent the letter, you, you, that's weird. Uh, best regard to Eloise. Uh, my dog Harris has been missing for three days. This is not the first time he's wandered off. But he has never been away this long. I just hope nothing bad has befallen him. Okay. That's the closest we've got to something spooky. Oh, God. Okay, we got a puzzle box. All right. Well, I guess I look through the letters, see if I got anything with numbers. Uh, 
No numbers in there. No numbers in there. Warm hugs, Madeline. <laughs> okay. The only thing we got for numbers is the time of our uncle's death. 1.30 a.m. March 3rd, 1920. And I doubt very much that that's the password for this, because that would be stupid. Who would get... Because this is not... Yeah, that would be stupid. I'm not. I'm doubting very much it's 1.30, but... Let's just try it. Because I want to be a thinker. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be really mad if that was it. That would be stupid as fuck. Okay. Alright, so we gotta go find... Gotta go find the combination for that thing. And a fuse for that thing. And a thing for that thing. And a foggy, foggy... What in the shit is going on with this hallway? Alright. What? Why did the... Dear Uncle Vernon, your house is fucking weird. At the end of one of the hallways, there's this completely random mist just hanging out, and it seems to be screaming things, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Perhaps you could fucking let me know. Love your nephew or niece or whoever the hell I am. Too dark. I must get the lights working. Oh, oh so I literally... Okay, I'm pushing for. I literally cannot move forward until I get the lights working. That's dumb. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. And that's it? <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there's a fuse in that lockbox, and I've got to find what the... Do I have anything? Nothing. I have nothing in my inventory. i got to find uh, the, 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 the fuse, which is probably in that box or something. Or maybe, maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed it. Who knows? Who knows? God damn. Stepping on things is just a... Torturous, torturous event. Um, fuses, fuses. Knife isn't going to be a fuse, is it? Oh, look. Another letter. My dearest Robert, believe me, I would have been delighted to see you again and embrace you in my arms. You must have become a real man by now. Long time indeed. Forgive me. I've taken away the keys. What was Alois thinking to give you keys to the house? There's all these witnessed. You cannot stay here. Please listen to me. Leave at once. The house is not what it used to be back then. It was very different. My dear Robert, listen to me. For the love of God, do not linger here. Sincerely yours, Madeline DuPont. No PS, the, that, that random box there, by the way. Here's the, the, the combination for anyone else who's just partying and wants to hang out with us. Nothing. You bastards. Son of a bitch. Okay. Money back. 30 day guarantee. What is that? Why does that random box have money back 30 day guarantee on it? It's insane. What is that? Money back. 30 days guarantee. What are these things? Come on, man. If you're doing horror, the name of the game is Atmosphere. Don't just fill your house with random shit that say random words like money back, 30 day guarantee all over the fucking place. Come on, man. I understand. I know coding's hard. I know you got to get some I know you got to get some fillers in there. Maybe you will replace it. Maybe you will cuz this is early access and if you if you're listening and you can't, please do because that's kind of stupid. And when you're doing horror, it's all about the atmosphere. You're not doing a bad job, to be completely honest, except for the random foggy hallway and the dark hallways that I just simply cannot walk through because it's too dark. I don't know what kind of... That's dumb. That's that's you putting me in a position that you, don't, you won't even let me try and fail. It'd be one thing if I went into the hallway and I like banged my shit up and something, I don't know, ate my goddamn brains when I was in there because I, because, you know, some creature in the darkness isn't afraid of anything but the light. And I went ahead and tried to mess with him. That would be fine. 
that would make sense. But that, otherwise, just saying, oh, I can't go in there. It's too dark. That's stupid. Come on, man. You can do better than that. Okay. Let's see if we can find a fuse. A fuse or a three number code. Okay. I'm telling you, man, these footlockers are killing me. So I want to open them real bad. The Zelda kid in me is just dying to open them. What do we got here? That, I believe, is in German. A lot of this is in German. Okay. All right, let's take a step back. Looking for a number. Number, number, number. Is it on the floor? Is it on the ceiling? We need a number. Boom. Jumping over the boxes because I am excellent. That's pretty. Okay. Number, number, number. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Let's move the boxes. Throw them aside. They mean nothing. Throwing the boxes aside. Fuck physics. Physics do not matter to us. We are immortal and so young and free. William Soap. Got a lot of soap boxes in here. Look at that. All that shit. Okay. Can't get in these, so that's frustrating. Boxes. Throwing them. Throwing the boxes. At Maria, I just threw a box at Maria, and she doesn't appear to be conscious at all. I threw a soap box at Maria. Right, move these. Nothing? Anything? Nothing. Not a number code. All right, let's see. You're a dashing gentleman in a, pl in a frame. That's awesome. Okay. And I can't... I keep instinctually... Ah, Jesus, door. I keep instinctually scrolling in my the, the middle scroll button on my mouse just to get a little closer, and it's not working. So, Ah, here we go. Calendar. Alois, November 3rd. Well, that gives me nothing. And you are. Crab, you are. Always on the third. What does that mean? So far, it means nothing. Oh, I was, oh, man. That took long enough that I was like, did I seriously just lock myself the fuck in? That would piss me off. Like, a lot. Okay. I... Shit, okay. Upside down blue. I... Okay. I've got all the letters I think I'll be able to find, and... Nothing's working. Maybe it's an early access thing. Maybe they just haven't gotten to this part, and if they have, if this that would be disappointing, but whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of done. Maybe I'll come back to this. I just... It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look horrible. But there's so many things that, like... Like these containers, these foot lockers that I just... I want to open real bad. And just kind of random stuff around. It's not quite the atmosphere I think they're going for. Which is disappointing, to say the very least. Okay, so this has been Phil the Conquistador, and this has been Vernon's Legacy, which is, I guess, going for a horror adventure atmospheric thing, and it's been kind of hit and miss on the atmosphere. Some of it really works, some of it doesn't. Uh, it is early access, so I'll be genuinely... Oh, look, I can move a chair. I'll be genuinely interested to see how it comes along later, once they've put the rest of the time in. In the meantime, in between time, my name is Phil the Conquistador, here to tell you, money back, 30 days, guarantee.
Okay, bye-bye. 